Hi there, friends. I'm Storm Team 10 meteorologist Jeff Hanowich. If you missed it a couple of minutes ago, I want to briefly tell you again that Doreen is now a Category 2 hurricane with winds of 105 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 12. Here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center. Has it becoming a major hurricane tomorrow? It is likely going to impact the Bahamas, the central Bahamas, especially north into the northern Bahamas. And this track from the National Hurricane Center is a little farther south than what we saw certainly last night at 11 and even at 5 and 6 and 7 o'clock when we last showed you this track. Right now, if this track comes to fruition, it could make a landfall, say Labor Day evening, somewhere near West Palm Beach or Fort Lauderdale in Florida. We'll continue to keep a very close eye on this for you. Could bring anywhere from 6 to 12 isolated 15 inches of rain along the Florida coast line, but notice that the cone of uncertainty goes from Brunswick, Georgia, all the way down to the Keys. Lots of question marks still to answer. As far as what we're looking at here, things are pretty quiet. Okay, high pressure is ruling the roost. Tonight looks to be quiet. Tomorrow looks to be quiet. Future trackers showing that tonight we're mostly clear. As we head into Friday, we're looking at a mainly sunny sky from sunup until sundown. Friday looks beautiful. It's going to be warmer, but it's not going to be very humid. Great news for those high school football games Friday evening. As we head into Saturday, may start out the day with some sunshine, may start to see a little more cloud cover on Saturday, especially into the mountains. And our westernmost counties may have a slight chance for a few stray thunder showers later on Saturday afternoon as well. But you need to know that most of us will stay dry Saturday, Sunday, into Labor Day. Temperatures stand right now 67 in Roanoke, down to 62 Lynchburg, 61 in Danville, and look at Withville at 57. If you've stepped outside over the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you this but it's incredibly pleasant outside. As we broaden the scope, temperatures are a little bit warmer west, and we may tap in to this warmth here over the next 12 to maybe even 36 hours. Dew points, though, still very low. We've got them in the lower 50s, but the dew points are a little bit higher, say, towards Wichita, into St. Louis, into Cincinnati, dew point 60s and 70s. Tomorrow, the dew points are still low, but by the weekend, we may actually kind of touch into a little bit of this humidity farther to the west. So the dew points may actually be on the increase for us a bit over the holiday weekend. Your forecast for tonight, we are looking clear and comfortable. Overnight lows anywhere between 52 and 58. As we head into the day tomorrow, we're mostly sunny, warm, pleasant, but not humid. 70s and 80s in the mountains farther to the east. You're looking at highs in the upper 80s to perhaps even near 90. Your extended forecast showing highs in the 80s for the next week. The holiday weekend looks just fine again each day, Saturday through Labor Day. A stray thunder shower can't be ruled out. Dry Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Wednesday night into Thursday. If we are to have an impact from Dorian, that could be the time frame to start to watch. Uh, but uh, overall, it's too early to tell you if we're going to have an impact here. I can tell you that after looking at those spaghetti models we looked at not too long ago, most of this may actually stay to our south.